2018 Land Rover Range Rover Veeler First Drive Reviews. Land Rover has learned a thing or three since its sale nine years ago. First, pegging your future and bottom line on an all SUV lineup can be rewarding, except when it isn't. Second, British automobiles and reliability don't have to be mutually exclusive, except when it is. Third, economy of scale can work wonders, especially when it's called the 2018 Land Rover Range Rover Veeler. It doesn't take long for the Veeler to run away from the Jaguar F-Pace from which it is faced, it only needs to climb a mountain. The Veeler daringly rids itself of the Jag's door handles, curves, and a gaping maw in favor of a sleeker profile, sharp lines running from boat to stern, and more measurable inches of screens than the family room TVs of my childhood. That the Range Rover Veeler is verifiably a Land Rover when the asphalt ends is almost irrelevant. It doesn't take long to see that its off-road programs will be used less than the instruction manual. The Veeler is already fashion icon, and it's been on sale for less than 60 days. And that's proof that Range Rover has learned from its past. Like ice cream, but better. The Veeler accentuates the details like no other Range Rover, for now. Creamy Windsor leather hides, standard on all but base models are punctuated with the diamond details that resemble a Union Jack flag. Same goes for the designer level speaker grills flanked by resplendent door materials that included brushed aluminum. Posh. While the dual 10-inch touchscreens in the middle of the console are anything but subtle, their customization and responsiveness is shockingly livable. It makes the best case yet that Apple CarPlay doesn't need to be everywhere and that automakers may have emerged from 20 years of fumbling through infotainment systems. I get the feeling that Range Rover's patriarch, Charles Spencer King, would be livid. Optional premium cloth buckets recall the day when workaday cow hides were reserved for the chauffeur and soft wools and cloth were kept for the chauffeur din back. And I could go on. Like the name Hagen Doss, the word Veeler has very little meaning beyond its initial smoke screen. When the original Range Rover prototype was testing in the late 1960s, engineers used the word Veeler because it was loosely related to the Latin Velum, close to Vale. Legend dictates further that engineers could also spell Veeler with the letters already in use from Land Rover. In other words, the name doesn't mean much. But in the same way an ice cream can transcend beyond its name's modest origins, Veeler will mean for Range Rover shoppers an air of decadent flavors. The Range Rover gets the F-Pace's menu of powertrains including a base turbo 4, and optional turbo diesel inline 4 or supercharged V6. While none of the engines are particularly refined, all of the above aptly power the Range Rover's amenities that will appeal more than its power delivery. The Vela relies on a base suspension package that uses double wishbones up front and an integral link rear end to insulate passengers from unwashed, land masses. An air suspension, standard on V6 equipped models, does much better than that and can raise up to 9.9 .9 inches of overall ground clearance, ford up to 25.6 inches of water, and turn rutted trails into butter. 